Hi Dave, thanks for um, agreeing to speak to us here at Cycling News. I just want to start off really by talking about the off-season. Um, it's now sort of come and gone, um, you're sort of uh, into your training camps. Um, what have been the key developments for you in the off-season? I mean, it's really been one of both consolidation and development, hasn't it really, I suppose? Well, I think certainly, you know, as you end one season, you tend to keep looking back for the, part, the first part of the off-season and it's like reviewing and learning and what could we do differently, what did we do well and you're kind of looking back and then at a certain point you start, your gaze turns forward and you start thinking about next season and, and really progressing towards you know the, the, the key elements of getting the guys fit. Um, but we have spent most of December over in, in Mallorca. Um, we've made some changes internally, a few changes structurally to the team. Um, but our initial training camp in December went very well, very happy with that. I think we've got a certain rhythm now, so we use the same place, it's, it's familiar. You know, our, the methods of training that we, we've now developed are, are becoming familiar. Um, we've had some new riders, but they slotted in very well because obviously lots of them know each other already, have raced in the same teams previously. Obviously Mark's come on board, but I think again he knows most of the riders, race mo with most of the riders in the team. So all in all, I think things run very, very smoothly through December and it's back out to Mallorca for a lot of the guys now for January and early February and the team obviously that's left to go down to, to race the Tour down under. So it's all looking good. And um, in terms of um, personnel changes that you've made um, during the off season, um, have you, did you sit down before, you know, at the beginning of the off season and, and work out where you wanted to strengthen? Um, and has that all gone to plan? And are you happy with the team that you have now going forward? Yeah, I think so. I think, you know, we're, we're, we're very strong believers in coaching and uh, we're trying to develop a coaching team in Team Sky. So we've got the, the DS group and then you've got a coaching group. And we wanted to, to build on that group and, and, and reinforce it a little bit. So we added Kurt Arverson into that coaching group. So we've now got Bobby Julik, Rod Ellingworth and Kurt all working as full-time race coaches. And of course, Kurt's got a very good relationship with Edvold. And um, we were, were keen to, to bring that and build that relationship. So that was important to us and that's really bedding in, in well. Um, and I think as, as you do in all good teams or good businesses, you know, you spend some time reviewing what's worked well, what hasn't worked so well, how could we improve and what areas could improve. So we, we tinkered with that a little bit. Um, but in the main, I think it was that addition into the coaching resource and making sure that we fully understood how that coaching group works to support the riders. Um, and I think that's the most critical thing, you know, it, the fitness of the riders and getting them in the right shape and supporting them to be in the right shape and getting them in the right mindset are the two most important ingredients. So that was the key thing.